Good morning, everyone. I hope you've got a lovely day today. It is beautiful outside. I want to share a Colossians 3 from verse 12 to you. It's in the Amplified Version. Clothe yourselves, therefore, as God's own chosen ones, His own picked representatives who are purified and holy and well-beloved by God Himself, by putting on behavior marked by tender heart pity and mercy, kind feeling, a lowly opinion of yourselves, gentle ways, and patience, which is tireless and long-suffering, and has the power to endure whatever comes with good temper. And then he tells us to, to be gentle and to bear with one another, and that we put on the love of God, and that the peace of God in rule and reign in our hearts. The only way to clothe ourselves um, as God's own chosen ones, we get in Romans 13 verse 14, but clothe yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ the Messiah. And my friend, we know that Jesus is the word of God. So Romans 12 2 says, <clears throat> we are being transformed by the renewing of our mind. And the only way to be renewed in our mind is through the word of God. There's no other way. We cannot read it in books. We have to practice it. We have to eat the word so that it changes us from the inside out. <clears throat> and then um, Proverbs 4 says that uh, we have to guard our hearts. My son, attend to my words. That is in Proverbs 4 from 20. Consent and submit to my sayings. That is actually, my son, attend to God's word. Submit yourself to the sayings of God's word. Let them not depart from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart. For they are life to those who find them healing and health to their flesh. Keep and guard your heart with all vigilance and above all that you guard. For out of it flows the springs of life. Sometimes we, we get into situations where we find there are, we are so many perceptions. Um, this, pe this person thinks like this, I think like that. Not necessarily wrong, but it's always good in a situation to go to God's word and ask what is God thinking and saying of this situation. Sometimes we can find ourselves that we lean on our own understanding and insight and not trust, it to, trust it God for his wisdom. So let us be be aware of that today as we're growing in Christ, that we clothe ourselves then as God's chosen ones um, and purify our, ourselves um, by putting on the tender-hearted pity and mercy, kind feeling a lowly opinion of ourselves, gentle ways. So let us be aware of, of God's word today as it changes us, as we Continue reading the word of God. It will change us that you will start to think in a totally different way. You will think not, um, what did that person mean when he said that to me? Because your insecurity will be dealt with in, by the word of God. He deals with everything. We can just go to the word. He cleanses. He let us grow. Um, and then we can betray, betray him. So my friend, be of good heart and be of good cheer today as God is all is um, teaching us all, all the time, always to be closer to him and to um, show forth his praises. Father, we are so grateful for the word of God. We can never get enough of the word of God. We can never talk enough about the word of God because it is your word that changes us. People cannot change us. We cannot change ourselves, Lord. We can stir up the fact that's inside of us, yes. But you change us through your Holy Spirit and the word that is so powerful. We glorify today, Lord, as we are you, your um, ambassadors today in this world. People will see Christ in us. We ask it in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Bye.